Everybody upstream right. is live. Uh, I'm about to hop in. One moment. I have to close Steam. Yep. Let me make sure the video's doing all right. Yep, video's fine. Exit Steam. Because this is normal now. This is normal. This is normal. I gotta say, one thing I do like about using this new uh, streamer is it has the chat in the top right. Like, it automatically has a built-in chat in the top right, so I don't even have to add that in. That's cool. But the only problem with it is, unlike OBS, which is what I was using, but it started giving me problems, is I can't have separate windows. I can't have, like... A AFK window where I can have music playing gently in the background as I'm away, you know? You haven't made a, uh... No, this one doesn't have extra scenes. Wait a second. You didn't make extra scenes. No, this one doesn't have any. This one you can't add any. Oh. So why did you trade streamers? Uh, because OBS was starting to lag me out too much. Like, I couldn't play League. I could not play League. It was 11 FPS. Yeah, it was dro OBS is dropping me to 11 FPS. It was taking up over 50% of my CPU. That's weird. So I had to stop. I'm probably going to uninstall OBS and have to restart, reset up everything, which is going to be annoying as hell. But I'm going to have to restart, like re-download OBS from scratch and mm. try and see if I can fix the issue. But yeah. I'm also really depressed because since I got my suspension... I'm gonna miss the new runes and everything, or the new uh, the new ward skin and everything for the event. Aw. I'm gonna I'm miss sorry. the new ward and everything, and that ward looks dope. Like the new ward you get for the uh, the animation with Rise. Oh. Or the yeah, comic. That one's pretty cool, but I'm sticking with oh. my Rams one. Oh yeah. I like it. I love switching out my words depending on who I'm playing. Like if I'm playing um, G my Project Jin, I'll switch to the uh, the uh, Project Word. It's like a little uh, red word, and it's cute. It it matches the skin pretty nicely. Okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before we actually start playing, more or less, because I want to give a chance for people to get in here. You know. Okay. Get, just wait and see if who shows up. Like we got uh, decaf Smurf. Welcome decaf Smurf to the stream. Um, we'll be starting shortly. I just want to give other people a chance to get in the stream before we start. Um, if you want to catch up on where we were last night, because we did a stream last night where we were streaming this, and we did about I'd say what should be about the halfway mark, and. Uh, I'm uploading the first half of last night's stream to YouTube. It was uploaded just a few seconds ago. It's, it should be processing right now, and it should be up any moment. Uh, it should be up in about oh, 23 minutes. Rip. Uh, yeah, YouTube's processing. But uh, in about 23... YouTube is normal. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that video will be up on YouTube. And then I'll have to upload the second half of last night's stream, because midway through our game, the game crashed, and I had to restart the stream. So it's cut up in two pieces. But that'll be up on the YouTube channel. It'll be up on the YouTube channel later. So, and then once we're done with this game, I will end the stream, take like a small intermission, and then we'll be starting streaming another game, maybe depending on what time we finish this. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. See uh, what we got going on. Okay, I'm going to start at 34. Or no, 33. I'll start okay. 33. I actually really quickly have to check my uh, art account. Oh, go ahead. I'll... Undefined website. <laughs> Tumblr. Mm -mm. No? DeviantArt? No, I don't have a team. Special art sites. Ah. Ink Bunny? 
Well, most people, unfortunately, decide to assert that with the naughty things, so even though it, you can turn that off immediately. Well, oh, you mean for affinity? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's 33. I'm going to click continue game and um, start getting everything loaded. Yeah. Because I know this loading screen takes a few minutes. It can take a little while, so I'll let this start up and get going, you know. So, um, I see decaf smurf in the chat, so, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, have any questions? Like, if you don't want to go watch, well, the video's not going to be up for a while, but, uh, if you have any questions about what we did last night, um, you can ask and I'll try and give you a good rundown while we're waiting. Because the loading screens on this game are a little beefy. <sighs> We lost this, the one viewer we had. Rip. <laughs> Rip That's sad. Decaf Smurf is gone. Are you joining the stream here in a minute? In a second, yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. Game's still loading. We're on the moon screen. I'm actually half tempted to try and set up a green screen in my room. <laughs> that would be cool. Well, thing or is, just paint the, the wall. No, I, there's no wall you. behind me. There's no wall behind me though. It's that an open room. Because I'm in my closet. Remember? It would be funny though. It would be funny though. Well, thing is, there's a big old window and there's just no room. What I was thinking is, I have a old sleeping bag where it's, the inside lining is yellow. And if I hang it right, if I put enough lighting on it. I could set a green screen up using it, you know? Or, you know, you can just go and pick up some cheap PVC pipe and some cheap uh, green fabric. Yeah, but thing is then I have to find room in my, or space in my room for that. And my room is tiny. Like, it's very small. My room is not that big. I could not have much in here. At all. It's half the reason why my, my PC is in my closet. You're in your closet? Yeah, I've told you this many times. I don't. Oh well. Oh. I told you before. I don't know what that was. I am sorry this is happening. Sorry this is happening. I hope it gets sorted out. I hope it gets sorted out. 
basically what's happening right now is someone had accused this person of stealing my art mm. because our usernames were the same. Okay. But the thing is, is despite being the username is the same, which granted isn't either of ours, it's a Digimon's name. But they just found your channel and started stealing your art. No. What it is is for Affinity had someone called Mr. Where Mr. X Where Guru Rumon X. Mm -hmm. My old VA account is Where Guru Rumon X. What's happening is, is this person has two people who hate him right now and are trying to get him in trouble. Oh. And I guess they found me by accident and are trying to use me. So I'm trying to give him a heads up on the scenario that's happening. Because no. that's fucking bullshit. So what are they doing exactly? They messaged me and said that this dude is stealing your art. He's known for commissioning people to do certain or uh, redo certain things, so it doesn't look like he stole it. Mm. And they want to give me his for affinity. They only gave him a messaging thing for me to mm. contact him by, but I found his for affinity. Mind while I have some music going on here. I do not fear death, only be the hypocrity. The mark I believe will last an eternity. You will fall before my divinity. Endless opportunity. Keep your immortality. What are you playing and why is it scaring the shit out of one else? <laughs> Sorry, it's called the Gon Godfist Anthem Hand Clap Remix by Two Curly. It's really good. Um, okay, we're back. In the game, the game is live. Now I'm waiting for you. Oh, you're waiting for me. Okay, almost done. Yeah. Sorry for scaring the shouty. It's just one of my favorite songs right now. Because it's, uh, based off the Godfist Lee Sin skin. And he uses a lot of his voice lines. You know what my favorite line from Lee Sin's Godfist skin is? Hmm. Go home and train your future failures. Or go home and raise your future failures. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, return to your home and, re and raise your future failures is what he says. And that's an actual voice line in-game. Imagine hearing that after he kills you. Uh, Go home and raise your really future. I already raged when Zaya kills me and says her normal lines. What's her normal lines? God fist Lisa and yelling at me. Oh. <laughs> One of his other lines is, uh... Where is it? I'm waiting for it to come through. Oh, from nothing, became nothing, is nothing once more. Whew. It's a baller line. The symphony of heaven is the sound of my fists. Kneel before your god. Okay, you in? Almost. Okay, I'm, I'm literally just... I'm excited. If you can't tell. I'm a wee bit excited. Meet new furries, I am VU. I don't know what that is. And those are pretty shitty furry models. Okay, here I come. In not three, two, one, one second. Now comic book pages have been released. I'm special, don't mind me. Honestly, I shouldn't have uploaded the first part, because I, what I should have done is edit the end, so that way when it crashes, we don't sit there. Because in the stream, we actually sat there for, like, however long while the game was crashing. That's probably a good idea. 
But I, I already uploaded it. Fuck it. I'm not even gonna bother editing it. Or was it the second half that I was gonna edit? Because the second half had us sitting there in the beginning waiting for things. Oh no, that's right, because I was gonna edit it till we caught up. Because remember, I had to go through and skip through a lot of things. Yeah. I was gonna edit it and skip through that. But nah, I'm probably just gonna upload it straight up. Okay, I'm gonna start walking around. I I wanna just look around. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm coming now. Yeah. Is art is addictive, and so is comics and other explicit things. <laughs> yes. Uh no. Hmm. Sure. I'm walking around the area we already explored, just kinda looking around. That's all I'm doing while I wait for you. <laughs> the sunglasses. Remember that from last night? That was weird. <clears throat> sunglasses. His son I'm, sent I'm him sunglasses. In. Oh my god. Well, I'm logged in now. I am logged on and ready for action, writer, sir. Oh shit, that's a children's show's quote. Fuck. <laughs> they know too much. This is normal. This is all normal. Well, I'm all ready to start this uh, stream off with uh, my favorite activity in this game. This is normal. Cool. Uh, no, I'm not in that area. Remember, no. that's all the way in the next area. No, no, I know, but don't you dare start throwing their shit everywhere. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Sir, just because the stream delays means nothing. I can see you. <laughs> you can't see shit. You're not even in the stream yet. You're not even watching. I am. I said I'm already... Oh, I don't see you. You're not, like, there for me. I'm in here. I promise. I'm watching you chuck a mug at the eyes. Or between them, rather. Stab it! <laughs> How is it that it's not showing you? This is weird. I don't know. It's not showing me in the corner, but it is showing me in the page. Your vehicle in two oh, crap. I forgot I can't this jump. Fine. This is normal. Am I not logged in? No, I'm logged in, so I'm here. Why? Well, why am I not noted in the list? Who is fine with me? Fine. This is normal. This is Takoma. I'm here for tacos and fantasy games. What do you mean Tacoma's a site? Like, I came for tacos. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You're not even showing. Oh, there I you are. I don't see it. Oh, apparently there's I'm a ton of people in the stream that aren't being shown. We got Banana Nan, Commander Root, the Cafe Smurf. Yeah, you're here. Right? Just... <laughs> there that, we go. That's weird. Okay, you're showing up now. You just Maybe had to say now something. I'm in. Yeah, oh, you are. You are. Okay, let's get going. Let's, let's, get the, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get over to the uh, medical area. Let's watch some more bullshit. Last time in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> mm, last time in Dragon Ball Z, we discussed why they need anger management. Oh, dear God. That's still all the long Hold up. Wait, hold on. I didn't see these messages. Okay. Hold up. What messages? These inbound messages on the tablet. Hold up. Okay, I already saw this one, this one, this one. Okay, saw that. Ah, a random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source over a hundred years ago. He's an old guy. Okay. Hmm. This is H, by the way. Hi. So H, I guess, is somebody that's watching us. Uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom now. Bye. So H is a friend, I'm guessing. 
and then our regular handler is somebody else. Okay, that's good to note. Okay. Ooh. Two days ago. So that's a day after what happened... Wait, hold on. That was two days ago, and this was... I'm All right, let me know when you three days. play so I can turn the audio off. Oh, I'm I'm going to, but this is three days ago. What What's happening in medical is two days. That's interesting because... Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's start this stuff up. Wait a second. If they were evacuated... I'm confused. Cared for them. What? Okay, Sarah. Okay, let me know when you start it up. I'm gonna start up in a second. I just wanna take a look around to see who else is where. Okay, this I'm does- This leads out of it, so I don't wanna go there yet. Okay, here is... Three of them. Okay, blue, orange, and red. Natalie, Roberta, and... Sarah. The females. The females- Three of the females are here. Where are the rest? Find out, won't we? Well, I'm just gonna start with these three since they're right in front. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over a mess. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Okay, immediately we have a pad to look at. Let's take a look at this. You you didn't let me you said immediately we have a pad to look at and then you you have to catch up. I know. Sorry, I'm waiting. Well, well, it was too. I kind of panic paused it. Oh, sorry. So I have to restart it. So what are we looking at? Isn't having more data available? To Odin is trying so hard. Are you caught up? I haven't caught anything. I'm waiting. I'm sitting there watching you look at the Oh, text. I was waiting on you because I thought you were, like, watching through the audio. No, no, I told you. I have to, uh, you'd have to restart the audio. Okay, I will. Um, after we read I this. Okay. I'll do that after I read this. Read through this, uh, pad. Um, isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data formatted for Zenith's AI use, not human, is what I'm guessing. Bert's gonna need... Okay, that's Roberta. Bert's gonna need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls. So, something, navigation code itself, interpret the data and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed, yes. I understand. I will prepare revision to... Da -da, 212 of manual drone navigation control software and something. Okay, let's see what else there is. Uh, gibberish, as you would say. Yesterday. Yeah, gibberish. Okay, message is Evie St. James. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know I'm not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to something. See you on the other side. This user is offline. I'm guessing she might have been one, one of the ones in cryo, because if we look up here, it says emergency in effect, cryogenic facilities active, two cryopods occupied. Which means she might be in cryo, since the user's not active. Huh. This is a guess. I haven't, since we haven't seen her yet, all we're seeing is Roberta, Nat, and the doc, Sarah, so far. And there's how many other crew members? A few? I believe there are six in total. Six, yeah, so that's three. And that leaves two miss two missing in cryopods with one extra. 
So we'll see. And that's failed. So let me rewind this and then I'll just play this short little section for you. And I'm going to follow her this time because her data pad is the next one to look at. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. Okay, I'm going to pause the audio there and... Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay, now that you're caught up, I rewinded and now I'm opening up um, Sarah's pad. And I'm waiting for you to catch up again. Okay, I'm waiting for you to click on the pad now. Okay, it's loaded. Okay. To all Tacoma, to all crew, Tacoma's remaining oxygen is what I'm guessing. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, say, this is saying that two people are occupying the cryo beds, cryopods. I've added tracking a tracking widget to all crew desktops. I think he is the last one awake, aside from these three, because that would mean, um. Okay, that would you mean... Even Clive, Clive are going into cryo. Yeah, even Clive are in cryo. Since Dagdev is awake. Because he's the one who sent this. Because the green icon. Mm -hmm. And we've seen blue, orange, and red, which is Natalie, Bert, and Sarah. So we can already tell that those two are in cryo. Okay. I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops playing and pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the the algae bloom, and Evie and Clive are going into cryo. Oh, they just said it. I didn't even finish reading. That's what I read. Oh, I didn't even read it. That counter should give you a pretty good idea on how much oxygen is left. Keep an eye on it. And something else. Okay, now let's look at the next one. What? Okay. Fine, normal. Ah, message with Natalie Kershenko. That's the red one. Um, hey ladies, your scans look look good. You're cleared for cryo. If God forbid, into those pods. Attaching sa same standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Cryogenic sleep patience guide. Uh, preparation medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by. A Intravenous. Dosage of... Okay, this is just like medical stuff, like, about entering cryo. Okay, so next, what else is there? I wonder what her odds are. We actually never heard that. We heard that it doesn't sound good, though. Because from what we heard from Sarah talking, which I'll resume now and she'll probably say it again. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. And again, I'll pause right there. That tells me something. That her odds aren't as good as we thought. Or as she thinks. Hold on. Percent body scan records. Hold up. I think I wrote this down last night because I thought I found the code for this. Hold up. Okay, here it is. I think this is the code for this. Crap. Eh, 20. Aha, uh -huh, 2080. Got it. It's fine. Okay, so let's take a look at Nat. This is the one I'm curious about. Oh no. That is not good. What? I can't see it yet. I know, I'm waiting for you. Oh. Um, 
go ahead and read that. No, I, I'm just gonna let let you read the number I'm looking at. I I can't see the number. No, the number I'm the number I'm looking directly at. Okay, expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18 percent. Patient is not recommended for cryostasis. Things aren't looking good for Nat. I don't think she survives. Uh, let's take a look at the other ones. Okay. Let's look at Robo Roberta first. Or next. Um, she looks to be all healthy. Um, oh, it's not letting us really read it. I can see it, but it's like really dark. Um, oh, wait. Uh, just hold it still. I can see it from yeah. here. Okay, it's just go. a bunch of medical uh, stuff. Eight. Oh, I see. Yeah, I just want to. Okay, cryostasis Rex factors non genetic standard. Normal patient exhibit. Yeah, no. So she's approved. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at. Um, looks like Nat's the only one so far that has problems. There's a heart murmur. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, he's the same. He has no problems. So, Nat died. I I'm just going to call it right here. Nat died. Rip. Ripper and East. Nat died. Night makes my sign. Oh, dear. This is bad, though. Poor Nat. Oh, house cat. Look. It's a house cat. Where's the house cat I'm waiting? <gasps> oh, I see the house cat. It's sleepy. I love, I love it. Hey, look. You grab that pussy. <laughs> and you know what I gotta do with it? Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Don't you fool it. You threw it across the ga da goddamn realm. I was hoping the cat would follow it. I would be cool if it did. You know what's sad is the cat probably died here too. Aww. And this is Why probably... did you bring that to my fucking attention? This I is probably where the cat died. This is probably where the cat died, and it left the mousy with it. Oh wait, no, but we don't see a body, so I don't know. Let me grab my cat. Right outside the front door. Okay, I retrieved my cat, who was squirming to get out of my arms, but I refused to let her leave. Lay out. Brought to my attention. Fucking cat died, you asshole. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just like looking at things. Okay. Relaxation sounds. Ocean beach. Summer showers. Oh. Okay, so the next person we need to talk, look at is the green dude. Um. Dogative. Dog Dogative. I f I forgot his name already. I'm Got just like. Oh, weirdo. That's yeah. what we're looking for. Whoa. What's this? She's a graduate. Oh, goody. Ah, so she actually took the renewal. Like, she was offered a renewal, and she took it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just reared through this again, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what is it? Whoa. We would like to remind you that while your posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there would be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of summer of September 2, 2085. Upon the Fountain of Paradise, as you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities within Venturis would be significantly improved. They're blackmailing her. That's what it sounds like to me. Is they're blackmailing her to take responsibility for something she didn't do. And she takes it. She takes it. That. She takes the renewal over it. Mm-hmm. But 
Didn't we establish that it's only 2084? We might be wrong. Because that's 2085. This would have to be after the, like, during this whole event. The thing is, they lost contact, so... No, because her sister died... No, remember, Evie's sister died on the 23rd, or on the years, please. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the 83rd year. Yeah. The 84th, and, uh, the 84th, what's it called, day, that I Obsolescence. can't remember, that obsolescence the 80 uh, obsolescence of 84 which means 85 hasn't happened yet uh. it couldn't have happened yeah but this is happening then this can't happen this entire email doesn't make sense either that oh wait no this could yeah because 2085 there was an incident happening at, upon the found of paradise i'm guessing another ship or another space station at 2085, so this can't be taking place in 2085. Maybe it's taking place in 2180, you know? Well, no, because the name Fountain of Paradise, we received one of those ads for it, and apparently it was opening in 85. Huh. This is... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it. That that That's confusing. <laughs> Welcome to blackmail in the future from the past. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I need to find the doctor. Whoa. Oh, he's coming in through the door. It's weird. Oh. Okay. Um, I caught him perfectly timed as he cut he comes through the door. Okay, just uh let me know. Oh, I'm not gonna there's no audio. Oh my god, wait yeah. a sec. That's fucking perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah, he literally came in through the door. Now I'm looking at his pad. Um let's start with this okay. top left one. I dear would like to tell you. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but okay. blank accent on the on the station. And if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry. Oh, this is like, this is the letter he was gonna give to uh, to Odin in case they didn't make it. Uh, oh. I remember hearing, cause remember in the last ep like last night, they were yeah. he was talking to Odin about sending a letter. This is the letter he wants to send to Odin. He wants Odin to send to them if they don't make it. Okay, I'm gonna skip reading that to save my voice. Um, okay. Roberta Williams, the drone was never meant to support the human life. There's no air supply system on board, controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers, and I'm just gonna have to figure out where to sca scout, s scavenge, scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station and hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us to Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry. Thanks for buying us a few more hours of auction with that allergy thing, Andrew. Okay, so it's her thanking him. Next. Dear crew, I'd rather I not be say, writing why this. Why didn't he do an allergy thing? He's a botanist, for Pete's sake. Oh, yeah, he Don't did. Don't learn from other games. Ah. I mean, has... No one played, uh, what's it called? Oxygen not included? Oh, <laughs> Nice. Algae stations, come on. Okay, so this is a letter from- I just filled the room with a bunch of algae planters and then ventilation system. Uh, Ooh, well, no, this is a message from Eve and Siddiqui. Ooh, saying what's like, happening here? Um, it's pretty much like a uh, good luck letter, is what it looks like. It's kind of like to pull their spirits up. Nothing of importance. Oh, motivation. Yeah, motivational. <laughs> and your information you requested. Transfer, transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid by Venturis. So this guy's not very, like, he's not very optimistic of his odds. Oh, goody. Okay, yeah, that entire pad was useless. There was nothing useful on it. But I am going to follow him around and listen to the rest of the audio for this area. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? Okay, let me know when you start it so I can turn stuff up. Here. I already did. Really? Restart it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Starting now. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. You showed up for your exam. I did. 
So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Matt are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go in to stabilize and sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down. Don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Matt can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion. And do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Something went knocking around over in the room over there. Hold up, what's over here? Hang on, smoke a shot. I'm sorry. Okay, caught up. Oh. Faster. What is the knocking in the room over here? Maybe. Oh, God, what's happening here? Okay, sir. For Matt. Let me know when you start the audio, please. Oh. Good speak. Right. Okay. Starting the audio in three, two, one. Good speed. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why? Going into the supply closet. I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but. But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they were so worried. Oh, baby. They were hugging and kissing, and I just keep thinking what if the last time they saw each other? the last time they'll ever see each other. Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. And maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else there are certain things that are going to help us get this done but some things they need to be partitioned off because thinking about them isn't going to help us but you're thinking about us at least aren't you yeah and when i do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together too yeah. Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> oh. Oh God. That was beautiful. We should really make the most of it. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Look, it's Nat. It's a uh, Roberta's hat. Whose hat? Roberta's. Her Tacoma oh, hat. Roberta. Look. It's her Tacoma hat. Or no, Tina. Tina. Who's Tina? Ooh, Tina. Look, Tina. Hello, Tina. Hold on. This says this is a 
physical locking device, secure medical storage, physician access only. I want to see what's in here. Cause I see stuff in there, and I want to get in there. I want to go to the uh, personal personal quarters for her. He's gonna be the in lady there. In key. Yeah, Sarah's room. I know there's gonna be key in here. Yep. There's audio available in here. I know there is. Hold up, what's this? Your personal AR okay. yoga instructor. Captured. I know three what I need to do. Ago. Yep. Making the best of this moment for everyone. Stop <laughs> it. Isn't it yesterday you didn't want your thing to get demonetized? I, I don't think You're that's going to get demonetized for that. If I do, I, I, I'll police it. What's next? Oh, I'm not even going to look. But uh, I'll start this in a second. I just want to look around and see if I can find this key first. Nail polish. Lid. Well, at least she's a health or a fitness person. Yeah. I see sports bras. I do too. Of course, it's the first thing I look at. Yeah. Hmm. Well, There's nothing in the drawer. Maker. What's in this? Oh, something that I probably want to listen to the audio first before I. Okay, let me know when you start the audio. It's starting. Uh, when? Like now. Stop throwing the shit across the fucking room! Ah, this is the, about the orchids that, uh, uh um, what's his face was giving out. There's coins We're looking here. for key. Looking for keys. Looking for keys. Oh wow, it even makes a little clink sound when I throw the key. Or not the key, the uh, coin. Stop throwing the shit across in the fucking room, you asshole. <laughs> 
That should be known. What am I being this court? I don't care. Go away. It's not in the bathroom. Where is this key at? Because, like, I imagine, because, like, with the other area we could open up, you know? Okay, there's just a fine. key, and we this had to carry a, a physical key over there, remember? Yeah. I, I want to say it's something like that again. But I'm not Push seeing Push button. Let's see what you can find. I am. I'm actually, like, looking around. Um... Did you hit that little lock symbol by the door? Oh, I tried to, but there's no interaction yet. There's no interaction. It could be like like I thought. It could just be like the um like the last one where you actually had to have a key in your possession to Don't interact. Don't forget to check the bathroom and the other already, room. I already looked in the bathroom and the other room is nothing. There's nothing here. This is the main doorway. Yeah, I want to see it soon. Can I see it open? What the bathroom? I see it open yet? Yeah. Like, I'm waiting. You haven't entered either of the rooms. Yeah, I have. I've already been in the bathroom. I was just in and out. Okay, I see the... that and... Oh. Okay, now I've seen the bathroom. Oh my god, she has a normal toothbrush! Wait, she did? Hold up. She has a normal toothbrush! Oh, she does! It's a miracle! Old toothbrushes are not a fashion. Oh, I know what I'm doing with this toothbrush. <laughs> Don't you open there. Where's the flush? Uh, damn it. So this book here is... No. You wish the toilet seat's down. Yeah, I know. You start the commentary. Well, no, there are no toilet seats. There are, uh, it, like, opens up beneath you. Oh. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Sci-fi. Okay, well... I, I thought we were playing a fantasy game! Let me look more in the Michael Storch. Maybe it is in here, and I just didn't see it. It's a glove. Oh! <gasps> look! What is it in there? No, no, I just found something very entertaining. What did you find that... Does the glove actually... Oh my god. It has physics. Oh my god, that is entertaining. But look, yeah, I can't interact Softball with the button. Love slaps you across the face. Wait, what's this down here? Hold up. There's a button down at the bottom. Oh, that, that is a manual key lock. Yeah. So you do need a physical key. That's why I thought, because it had that, and I was like... It reminds me of the last lock we opened, which... And look, there's even a thing in there, a commentary button, so we were supposed to be able to get in there at one point. Aww. I bet the key is hidden off in, like, some obscure location. Why not check her office again? Oh, her office. Yeah, I didn't check her office, I just checked her room. Exam facilities. Medical office. Oh, oops, I didn't. Oh, there it is! What do you know? Ooh, I'm smart. Oh yeah, look, supply locker key. It says supply locker on it. Because, so, yeah, no, I'm smart, and that's the weirdest fucking key I've ever seen. Okay, insert key... Why does the key go down all the way down there, though, is what I don't know. Mm -hmm. So what is in here that... Because back-breaking labor for the... Uh, There's... I found the most important thing in this entire place. A what is, bucket. Is it? Grab the bucket. It also has physics. Stop, Look, look, the handle has physics. Physics. Stop, stop. Physics. Physics, stop being entertaining. No! Oh my god, I did it. I flipped the bucket. I can also walk through the bucket. The bucket is fake. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Throwing it across the <gasps> room. Ooh. 
What do you find? I'll just hold this here if you want to read it. I don't want to lose my voice again. I think I did way too much you speaking have, like, last space night. Space for victim. Following a lengthy investigation of the court case, Fountain of Paradise has reached who died during surgery for the, a fractured femur following an accident, an accident on the spaceport in September. Oh, so maybe I did get the dates wrong. The value of this is undisclosed. Mr. Pratt, however significant public Oh, sorry, I didn't see if you were done with that. Ooh, the food. Okay, you done with that? Oh, shit. I probably just sent my cup just flipping off my desk. So, they're trying... Oh, okay, I see. They're trying to so get her to happened... take blame for what oh, happened. Mail is she said that it was faulty AI. Yeah, and they want her to take blame so mm -hmm. their AI doesn't get cracked. Yes. Oh, what the hell? What? I see a medical bottle. A skull? Wait, what? Why? I don't know. I'm just going to carry him around. His name is Bob. Bob. Hold on, let me position him correctly. Name. This him something. <laughs> okay, your name is Skeletor. No, that's too original. <laughs> too original? Oh my god. His name is Grim. No, we already know someone named Grim. There can't be two Grims. Billy. No, why would why Billy. why why would you curse us with the name Billy? Mandy. Do you not get the cartoon references? No, yet? that's why I said, why would you curse us with such a name? Noah Vine. Okay. Oh my god, I can hold Bob. Hold up. I'm gonna take Bob everywhere with us. Okay, fine. Is Bob. Bob is coming with us. Hold up. Cause subcontractor farrier. Proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from AI modules. You must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The later requirement is of the highest priority. Ah. Can we talk to the AI yet? Nope. We are still forbidden to talk to him. Also, I wonder, can I take him up this lift? Can Does Bob come with me? Bob, you better hold on. You better hold your skull tight. We're going up. Bob. 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 <sighs> okay. Bob's not missing. Bob's not on the floor. He's not in my hand, though. Bob. Okay, we're just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to see. Wait and see if Bob's still with us. If it actually allows us to hold, like, things in between areas, that'll be so dope. Just married. Oh, coming 88. Yeah, no, I was wrong entirely. Forgive me on the dates. Yeah. Why does your background keep flipping through the recording? What do you mean? Like, throughout the streams, there are times where I can see your desktop and it's clipping, like, it's clipping through the top of the thing. Uh, so, part of the game disappears. Hold on, let me look at the dead. stream. And take a look. It could just be... I don't see what you mean. I'm looking at the stream and I'm not seeing it. You're gonna have to wait a second. Okay, I'll keep... Oh, whoa! That is kinda odd. 
Yeah, it, it's like a lot more today, but it was happening last night too. But rarely, was it only it was on his loading screen, or was it like during the actual game? It was. Uh, it's. Uh, a lot on the loading screens during the actual game, but not significant during the actual game. Okay, so I think it just could just be the the loop of the game of this loading screen taking its toll on the PC. It could be. That's actually. I want to go ahead. That's actually really odd, though. It could be because the rapid movement. Oh yeah, rapid movement is also pretty taxing on uh, video cards. All right, I'll be right back. I want some dessert. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and get a drink myself. And we'll be back when the loading screen is over. Hopefully. was human. <gasps> we still have Bob. 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 What is flying overhead? Could I take control of your computer, please? Where did you go? Why did you leave? I didn't hear why you left. This is fine. This is normal. Did you go? And why did you go? And what is bullshit? And we still have Bob. Hurry up, spy. We actually have viewers, and they're gonna run away if you stay for too long. Gone. I don't know. Get your ass back here. Damn it. Where did he go? Why did you go? Why did he go? Where did he go? Get your fucking ass back here, boy. Where did he go? Why is he BRB? Why is he push? We got to keep Bob at least. person a better computer go to his the uh, Patreon? I don't know. I'm special. I have a Patreon. I don't know if Spy has a Patreon. If you want me to actually play video games and not commentate in the background, go to my Patreon. I'm not sure if I have a This is bad advertising. I'm special. Continue on. Spy, where the fuck are you? I'm not good at this. Mm -hmm. This is 
fine. This is totally normal. Just waiting on the person who plays the game. You know, because I can only watch him play the game. We're fine. This is exactly how streams are supposed to go. Video game streams, no gameplay and all this stuff because he's BRB. And I'm waiting for my ice cream to fall. Otherwise, I'd be BRB. But I don't want to be BRB now. Now that I know that he has left you alone for so long. This is odd. This is boring. Can we hurry this along? What is this? I see runes, cape loot. I'm looking at my Twitch Prime stuff that I don't often use. What is a cereal cleaner? A uh, broken age? Oh, Brutal Legends is a good okay, game. Okay, I am back. And we are Welcome back, back you motherfucker! Cool. You left your audience alone. I'm sorry, guys. Cool. I wanted to grab a cup of tea, so I did. Cool person. Bob is still with us, by the way. <gasps> Bob! Bob is with us! Look at this beautiful skull. What a beautiful man. That's Bob. Bob. Okay, let's go, Bob. Sir, make a Patreon. Post Patreons. So that way, maybe I can get a computer so we can do this vice versa. Maybe you can get a better room. Do what? So, now I have a green screen. Make a Patreon, boy. Patreon? I. But I. Do. Do. Da. Patreon? No, I don't want to. Imagine who would want to pay me to do this? Like, at all. I'm, I'm, like, I'm horrible at this. My computer is crap. I can't even do good games. Like, not, no, not saying this is sir, good, but like, there's sir, way better games. Sir, sir, what? the Patreon is for the people who like your commentary. So you can get a better computer so you can bring in the people who like the gaming and the comment. I guess. Make yeah. a fucking Patreon! Oh, by the way? What? Whee! What are you doing? Why are Tacoma you- Tacoma Dome. Why are you this? Why are you... It's what the Tacoma Dome. What's the- Observation. Tacoma. It's the observation deck area. Oh. It's pretty. No. Wait! There's audio recording. Just seems Wait, like it's too strange. On. Let me know when starts. Already, after only a year innocent. Of here. Really innocent. After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under. Yeah, but there's that, and then there's this. You didn't let me know when it started. Oh, I I'm sorry. I already had it yeah, started. And I'm you, not like I'll let me it. talk over <laughs> the audio. <laughs> <laughs> so whether you're getting renewed or not. Don't worry, the audio's louder than you are. No. For you, for me, I hear me clearer than the audio. Yeah, I think I might go get that disc. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. There's this. And then there's this working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think I might go get that disc. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. And that's it. That was uh, the day of obsolescence day. We were actually supposed to go in there first when we first came here. Oh hey, Lordo Flipzards, welcome to the stream, and welcome to Tacoma. Sadly, you we did last a stream last night where we went through most of the game. I'm guessing we're coming towards the end because we already went through personnel and we went through medical. Now we're about to go through engineering. So, um, 
if you want to catch up on what we did last night, aka this morning, early, early this morning, um, on my YouTube channel, oh, Marcus, well, Marcus, over on my, on my YouTube channel, Spyful Gaming, I'll be uploading part one and two of this morning slash last night stream, where we did up oh. until like halfway through the, Hello, yeah, it was like halfway through the engineering, or not engineering, halfway through the medical, and we stopped there. And, um, it's divided Marcus, up into two parts. Slightly damp the Discord server? Yeah, what she asked as well. Yeah. I'm... If, if this, this, if Marcus is the one from the slightly damp Discord server, I'm the one who invited him. The background voice. The annoying one. <laughs> uh, this is Ruru, by the way, the one in the oh, background. Uh, oh, a good friend of mine. Oh, he is. is this? Yes, yay! normal this is fine this is normal <laughs> well welcome to the stream well, i'm gonna go check if my eyes are okay well Ru is gonna be back we're about to do a very long loading screen oh uh hey Ruru, before you go uh uh marcus said hi i see that i say hello oh okay oh hey uh marcus uh say hi to bob this is this is bob bob no, is Bob is our friend. I'm, I'm carrying him through the station because he was feeling all alone in the medicals area. Okay, now let's let's get the loading screen over with. Oh no 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 Bob Bob no! <laughs> I threw Bob. Hold on hold on Bob Bob come here come here. Yes okay Bob is safe. Okay let's be careful not to accidentally throw him again. Um, hold up. How do I... Okay, come on. Let me... Don't make me throw Bob. I really want to hold on to him. I'm trying to flip myself over so I can get right set up. Okay. No, it makes me throw Bob. Oh, no, I can't take Bob with me. No! Bob! Uh, Bob, no. Oh, well. Oh, uh, Marcus, get ready for the stream to glitch out a bit at the top. This loading screen that they use kind of lags me out a bit. I don't know why, but this loading screen in particular likes to lag my the game out a bit, and it makes my background go up at the top. Well, actually, Bob is safer back there, because he's with the ship. He's uh, He'll be my bodyguard. He's going to guard my ship. This is a perfect idea. Oh, perfect. Ruru, um, we lost All Bob. Right. Well, why? What'd you do with fucking Bob? No, it wouldn't let me open the hatch unless I dropped him. Oh. So I left him at the entrance. He's uh, he's guarding the entrance. He's guarding our ship. Okay, but you better pick him up before going back to Earth. Because this oh. whole Illuminati lizard full fantasy taco bullshit is getting pretty awkward. <laughs> well, Marcus. This is fine. Um, this is normal. Like I said, if you do want to catch up on what we what we watched earlier, if you haven't already seen this game before, part one and two of last night's streams are going up. Part one, actually, it was supposed to be one whole stream, but in part one, it uh, crashed towards like the middle. So. I had to restart the stream, and that's where part two came in. And then part two ended at us in the middle of the the medical se section, like and you, halfway. You can bet that this one will be uploaded too, so yeah. you can catch up on anything. So if you like want to watch the whole thing in a str in a streak, you can go back and watch the entire Tacoma playthrough on YouTube when it's fully uploaded. I got part one right. uploaded right Spy. now. Spy. Uh huh. Spy. Yeah. Advertise Patreon. I, I'm not going I to. All over your I, I, I don't have a Patreon. I'm not I going need to make one. I'm, I, could I post my Patreon all over your channel? Uh, once. Just once. Yeah. Just once. I will save that token for you. Hmm. I only have yeah. one Patreon from when I used to stream classic games. Before I couldn't stream hmm. classic games anymore. Oh, uh, Marcus, this is actually a good time to let you know that if you're enjoying what you're seeing, 
uh, me and Ruru have decided to start doing this more regularly, where we'll play, like, different games, and, like, I'll be playing them, and he, she can help commentate and just join me on the fun, give me someone to talk to, you know? It's so, fine, you know, like, it's gonna be nice, we're gonna start doing this more often, and, uh, yeah, if you keep tabs on the stream, I'll, I'll try and... We'll see about streaming maybe, what do you think, every other night? Maybe even every night sometimes for a few nights? Depending on what's I going on. I want to play fucking video games. I want to watch video games. I want to do video games. That came out so poor. Well, fucking wrong. Well, when my account gets unsuspended for League, I we can do a live stream together. Okay, <laughs> I recommend more toxicity. Well, I actually have calmed down a lot. Like, I've gotten a lot better. Okay, okay. Well, just don't use the chat. Just don't I know. use I, the chat. That I haven't. Prevent everything. Okay, to be fair, that last one was just one game, and it was because, uh... Oh, by the way, one of what's great, right after I got my league suspension, I got a notification saying that someone was punished, and the only person I had reported was the was my support. So I was slightly <laughs> clapping you as, both like... got yelled at. Yeah. Both okay, well, that. hey, um, if you get a chance to tune in, join us, hey, you know, um, but I will let you know every stream I do, I will attempt to upload to YouTube one way or another, because... It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I met him through toxicity. Somehow I attract the toxic. Actually, the way you met me is I destroyed you in League as Warwick, and that was it. It Wait, was you I'm and to it was you and Myth, and I was playing Warwick as Jungle, and I destroyed you two games in a row. Two games. In a row. Yeah, we we're playing uh, drafting. Yes, I remember because I had just started League as well. Yeah, and I destroyed you twice in a row. Somehow we got mashed up against each other twice in a row, and I played Warwick, and I just, just dominated. Like, what the hell? And you guys like yeah, invited well, me over, and I was like, sir, sure, sure, sir, sir. I got I got bored of Warwick Jungle, and I took him support. <laughs> I took him top, I took him ADC. I've mastered him in every fucking lane so. Yeah. I can at least stall in mid as assassin. Yeah. Honestly, AP Warwick mid is actually kind of disgusting. <laughs> it is. No, nothing's going to make me laugh harder than before AP Warwick was normal. Oh. And, uh, no, no, full AP when, Warwick, your cutest no. one-shots. <laughs> no, I know. <sighs> Warwick in every lane, yes. But, no... We had a so this was a blind game. I did not want to be in the blind game. Mm -hmm. But one of my friends insisted that we did a blind game. So I went to a blind game and mm -hmm. I think they were the ADC. We had a Soraka jungle. <laughs> Every time I went in on an Ari as Warwick Soraka saved my ass and we killed Ari. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She's not in the Ari. This is fucking bullshit. I go, this has got me. This is Soraka. Soraka Unana. <sighs> oh yeah, uh, so WW so, did or Warwick did have a overhaul, but that was like way back when. Well, but also, I'm big. I joined the day of Warwick's rework. Oh, that's right, you did. I joined you? the day of Warwick's rework. You should have seen Warwick seen before his game. rework. The old, the old Wick was, oh my god. Oh hey, the game loaded. This is a lot quicker than normal. Whoa, allies. What? what? Hey, did boy, you see that? I'm gonna go check on my ice cream. Whoa, did you see that? No, it said allies. Like in the glitchy text, it said allies. Allies? Yeah. I think, um, I think Odin wants to be allies with us. Like he wants us to help him. Uh, I started season one, uh, Marcus. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go check my eyes. Back when LeBlanc was literally the there carry. Are... Literally, all you had to do to get Challenger in when C when rank started was play LeBlanc. Literally, LeBlanc equaled Challenger straight up. Like. If you play LeBlanc with any decency, you are getting high ranks. Like, I mean, 31-0, and 0, easy, because LeBlanc was busted. Yeah. Dude, Season 1 Challenger was nothing to really brag about. It was so easy. Like, 
early challenger in the early seasons was so easy because they didn't nerf LeBlanc, and the LeBlanc nerfs came way too late. Like I remember being able to one shot the tanks, like LeBlanc had no counters. It was disgusting. <laughs> Honestly, season like one like season one of ranked challenger was practically the new bronze like well no when we say season one challenger i'm talking about ranked season one there's ranked season one there's ranked season two it goes by we i've been calling it by ranked seasons like the very first ranked season challenger was easy we had leblanc which was overtuned as hell not to mention the low graphics really aided to how nifty she could be. Like, with the graphics being what they were, it made it so hard to tell where the hell LeBlanc actually was. It is absolutely disgusting. The very first season of Ranked. Oh, fuck. What's... What season was that? I know, I know it was before the major LeBlanc nerf. It was before the the major LeBlanc nerf, like where they like hit her with the the nerf hammer major. Back when they like destroyed LeBlanc, made her absolutely like useless. Cause I remember being able to just hop on LeBlanc and get like easy penta kills, like level four penta easy. If I tricked them into grouping up. It was so disgusting. And like, if you don't believe that there wasn't a Season 1 ranked, there are people with Season 1 Challenger icons... Like, just look around. Like, go to any league forum, and you're going to find somebody that has Season 1 Challenger somewhere. It's like, people don't believe you when you say you're a Season 1 Challenger. But then you look at their old accounts, and it's like, right there. Look, Season 1 Challenger, bitch. Fuck off! <laughs> uh, it's like, mate, you want to call me out for having Season 1 Challenger? Well, look right there. You know? Okay. I know I'm still waiting on Ruru, but I kind of want to go ahead and do a few things. Oh, it looks like I can't even go in this room. That's rip. Um, but yeah, no. Um, there actually are Season 1 Challenger icons. It's just, it counts it by ranked Season 1, not by Season 1. Everyone gets a misconception that there was no Season 1 ranked. There wasn't. It was ranked season one, not season one. Like ranked season one took place, I'm thinking season two. I kind of stopped counting seasons. I started counting ranked seasons. So, like I was there during season one, but once ranked started in ranked season one, that's when I start counting like how many seasons I've been in, even though I was there since the beginning, before ranked. So like. Ranked Season 1, I was Challenger. I hit Challenger with LeBlanc. Super easy. Now, I wasn't like high-tier Challenger. I was just a LeBlanc player. <laughs> Anyone playing LeBlanc could hit Challenger at one point or another, given any amount of skill. Because that's how broken she was at the time. And Riot just didn't know what to do with her. Like, there are some broken champions, like... 
Malphite was pretty strong back then. But you look at LeBlanc, she was just one-shotting Malphite full build. Like, what? <laughs> LeBlanc was busted. There's nothing else to say about it. She was busted. <laughs> like, people think, like, Zoe was disgusting when she was released. Like, like think of the most overtuned champion that Riot's released in the last year and a half. And give them 6,000 AP from the start, and then try and play them. And that was the old LeBlanc. Like, think of the most overtuned character. Put whatever their base stat is, like their their normal use, like if they're AD or AP, give them 600. That's their base stats. And that's what the old LeBlanc felt like. The old LeBlanc felt so overtuned. Like, it was horrible. But yeah. The reason we made the sync device functionality be so like obscured to the player was because early in development we were having trouble with like progression systems and like keys and locks and people getting too focused in on locks that we were setting up in the game and sort of ignoring the story to find passive. Okay. This game, the whole idea is... Um, it's pretty much your stereotypical space station shit went wrong game. They were having a celebration and shit hit the fan. They started leaking oxygen, they only had 50 hours of oxygen, and they had to find a way out of here. That's the base synopsis that I can give you. Now, more in-depth, is they were celebrating something called Obsolescence Day. Obsolescence Day being what we, th me and Ruru have been theorizing, is like the, the, uh, the idea that humans are becoming obsolete. Because in the party, which you'll see in episode one if you go back to my YouTube channel to watch it, because that's actually what part one is. It is actually the entire party until after they find out that every sh everything's hitting the fan. And then I was actually going to the private quarters of one of the crew members. Let me find her right here. Um, Evie St. James. Her private quarters is where I crashed. So you didn't miss anything important once I crashed. Afterwards, though, I had to run back, back through and... Because the save didn't save up until before I went into the room, so... If you go to YouTube, like, I do believe right now, while we're waiting on Ruru, you could probably, like, skim through the episode on my YouTube channel. And you could find mostly what you want to know if you want to know anything in detail. Or you could watch it later or whatever. Because that main, that first episode will clear up most of what happened in the beginning. Because we did a lot of theory theorizing in that first episode. Or that first part up until the crash and then after the crash we went through to the second section of the ship which is medical and we quit halfway through medical because at the time it had been a four hour stream like we had been streaming for about roughly four hours last night in between well that's not counting like that's counting in between when the my game crashed and it crashed my entire computer and we had been talking back and forth until I restarted the stream so yeah oh yeah it was like a four or five hour stream nearly five hour like we had been streaming for a long time like um if I look back I don't even think the stream ended till like five o'clock till four maybe three four in the morning uh, so. almost five. Yeah, almost five o'clock in the morning. And we started the stream around, what, like, midnight-ish? Around one. It was yeah. a five-hour session. It was, yeah, it was about five hours. Um, actually, I stream a bit more. I just started including Ruru. This is the first time I've added Ruru in with me. See, I... I unfortunately can yeah. no longer stream without re negative repercussions on the stream and the computer. Yeah. She can't... 
her PC is not, her rig is not good enough, and mine is just perfect, where I can stream some games like this, Tacoma, or, like, League, but I can't have a whole lot running with it. Like, League, I prefer not to have Discord open when I'm playing, because it does tax my computer a little too much to stream and play, but I might be able to play and stream with Discord now that I'm using something else, not OBS, because OBS is taking up, like, 50% of my CPU, as nice as it was to have multiple scenes so I could have like a waiting screen, I might have to sacrifice that because OBS was just taking up too much CPU. It was like making my game drop to 11 FPS. See, yeah. for me, I used to be able to stream. I used to stream in the mornings and then the evenings, and there was an occasional break where I would stream in the afternoon. Yeah. But my computer picked up the virus, which also threw me through some identity fraud. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Ruru, if I sent you a, if I sent you a link through Discord, could you send it to, or put it in the Twitch chat? Or actually, I can put it in the Twitch chat. Never mind, I'm stupid. Um, yo, uh, Marcus, I'm going to put the link to the video for the first half that I actually have uploaded in the Twitch chat for you if you want to open up another window and look at it later. Um because I actually literally just uploaded it before this stream started and it just finished processing like a little bit ago. I have poor man's cake. I have mug cake. <laughs> there you go. That is for you. And that is the first half of the stream which is literally the first section of the game. From start to literally the end of the first segment of the game, I'm guessing. Because from what I can tell, this game is in four segments, give or take. Maybe three. Mm, yeah. This game is, if we don't talk to Odin in the end, I'm going to be very fucking disappointed. I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is that this is getting shady. Okay, well, let's get back to the game, since you're finally back. Okay. I did try... I had to make poor man's cake, because I found out if you throw a toaster waffle in the uh, microwave, it smells and sounds horrible. <laughs> also, this door this does not open. I don't know what's wrong with this door, but this door's not opening, so I guess we gotta go in here. Whoa. Wait, wait what is... What is... Wait, what, what is the sign say next to the door that won't open? Network technology, okay. And this is the engineering, me mechanical engineering. Whoa. Yeah, fine. Operation Moonshot status board. Wait, network technology. We get to meet Odin, hopefully. Maybe. Uh. Captured 18 hours oh. ago. Oh, look. I found out the cat's name. What's the cat's name? Margaret Catwood. Like, look, it says the cat's name right there. That's the cat. Probably I sleeping love somewhere. It. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? Uh, Evie in cryo, in cryo, in cryo, manual control software installing into drone, drone life support. Uh, hang on. Wait, I'm trying to read it, asshole. Stop moving it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm <laughs> do it now. Um, Standing by medical support for cryo procedure. Odin doing AI stuff. Margaret Cat will probably sleep somewhere. Go team! Look at the bottom of the screen. I want you to think about that. Recovery. Recoverable AR crew data found. Cord found. Recoverable. No, no. Look at the bottom of it. Captured 18 hours ago. Think about that. 18 hours ago. That's this doesn't take place long after we arrive. That's what I thought. They just left. Like, a like nearly half a day ago. Okay, let's recover this and see what happens. Okay, we got power go. cell access over there, and then we got workshop over there. Maybe. Whoa, what? Maybe what? 
This is gonna be sad if they all died. Whoa. Here's Odin talking to Sarah. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Maybe? Okay. Wait, maybe. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scan, that was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? Uh, I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Oh. Whoa. Where did they go? Okay, they went in here. The south wall of the drone bay, please. Oh my god. Oh no. <gasps> Whoa. This does not look good. This looks like the drone they were trying to use. I think they're... <gasps> There's blood there. Um. There's no body, but there's... There's blood there. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew. Oh, they're getting... She's getting up. She's not getting up. Bert! 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 One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. Oh, she's okay. Did it work? What will you do now? Whoa, 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 what? That was glitchy. There's no way this thing's going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Or in that are oh. injured. The drone is fucked. Die, people. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do, but I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew, and it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. Now, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, uh, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, uh, uh here. It's, um, it's, it's here in networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. 0809. Okay. okay. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. And this is where it ends. Okay. Let's go to the start and then watch what the hell happened with these two. Jeez. Oh, first let me go out here and let me look at her data pad real quick. Because she opened her data pad and let me see if there's anything important on that. Golden. Okay, nothing failed something ah okay he's in cryo this is him just saying that he's 
finally ready to go into cryo. A little sar a little cynical, but still. Sarah, Bird is making fun of me because my parents were hippies and I never got never got me gene filtered before I was born. Whatever that means. Okay, that's just playful banter. Let me look at this one more time. Hold on. I know what gene filter means. What? What is it? Gene, gene filtering is when you go ahead and it's what we're starting to do now in our current time is where we filter certain genes through a fetus. So basically this quote-unquote hippie is basically what most of society does now, which is not modify our baby's embryo before they're born, uh, to be perfect. Hmm. If we were to have me, whatever the word was that I can't remember for some reason, uh, genetic, we screened or whatever, uh, basically I wouldn't have lost. Oh. They could genetically remove that before I was born. Ah. They could also genetically have made me a male. Ooh. They could have also made me blonde. Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure if the blonde part's true, but I know they can remove and screen uh, different genetics uh, in and out of a fetus before it's born at a certain age. Right? That That's what it is. So, quote-unquote, hippie I mean, just means today's current society. What's happening here? I'm just, like, looking and seeing if there's anything important. Uh, this is just, uh, Mr., uh, Scaredy Cat saying goodnight. Um, and this is... Oh, this is a more about her be her parents being hippies. I want to read that. Give me a second. Oh, and... <laughs> uh, that's funny. They're so responsible. My parents loved me. They were just... Hippies, it is normal to, I'm going to ask Sarah. <laughs> she said, it's normal and you have to stop making fun of me. When's the last time you slept? Why do people keep asking me? Uh, Wait, can we go back to Sarah's log so I can read that, please? Again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I didn't have to read all of it. I got it to net screen. Fine. I got to look at it. the last time you slept. Okay, what, what okay. was it? It was a uh, year filter when I was born. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gene filtered, sometimes for religious reasons. Some Stop turning the camera, please. Uh, sometimes for religious reasons. Sometimes be... I didn't finish reading it. I'm sorry, I want to continue. I want to see what happens next, because we're on a climactic area. But I didn't get to finish reading it, and I wanted to get to... <laughs> Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for five seconds, and then... Five seconds in, then cut it. Let me read it. <laughs> You're I will slow. Read faster, but let me read it. You're slow. <laughs> Marcus, Here we she, go. tell her to be faster at reading. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc. Really can't focus. Bird is making fun of me right now. When's the last time you slept? That's besides the point! You ready? Okay. Fucking bastard. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens in here. Let's... No. You gonna need any help with that power cell hooker? I'm hooked in. Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. Okay, she was climbing up to the pod. Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. <sighs> oh. I'm 
gonna stand back here when this happens. Oh, Jesus! Oh, she got hit the worst. Ouch. Okay, then we saw what happened next. And then she started heading in this direction. Oh, that was... You don't you you looking you'll have to go go through the maintenance shop to get there. Here. Here's the oh, to access code. Oh eight oh zero eight zero nine. Oh nine, okay. Down and down we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Where are we going from the phone? Do we get to talk to Odin now? I have no idea. Oh, there's a memory beyond this point. There's AR crew data over here somewhere. Uh oh. Gotta be. Please? Who's this? Oh, he did say read faster. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie? Oh, four months ago. Huh. And that was it. Okay, that was interesting. Nice music. Whoa. Tacoma, what are you saying? Some contractor farrier special access has been granted to the station. AI's physical processing compartment in the network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certificate. Certific certification. Okay, so uh, beyond this point, there's no more AR. Okay. And we are inside the AI area. Beam me up, Scotty. Ayo. <laughs> okay. So kind of farrier. Oh, look, it's even telling us where to go. Personal quarters. We're going here, of course. Storage only. If you're looking for Nat, check our bungalow over in Mech. Huh. Oh, it literally is storage. <laughs> wow. Huh. Look at all the food here. Oh, look at this. Look. Hey. Whoa. Nice. Oh, Happy New Year 2088. Okay, so it is 88. Mm hmm. Happy Halloween, happy Halloween, happy Halloween, happy Halloween. Do, 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 Oh, it, it's this is Halloween. I'm saying happy Halloween. Screw you. This is Halloween! Whoa, what is this? Join the Liberation Front. 
We are all conscious beings. The right to free... Oh, this is one of those, like, radical... Wait. Mm. Oh, yeah, I did burn <laughs> that song. <laughs> Rip. Uh... You what? Oh, look, just look at the chat in a second. You murdered that song. <laughs> uh, okay, this is one of those, like, radical, like, AI rights movements. Pa pamphlets. I didn't know Nat was part of that. Pumpkin Pudi Berseri. This sounds Russian. Pakain Pute Berseri. Yeah, that sounds Russian to me. Pow! It's cherry. What oh, the? Oh wait, is this like? Oh fabric my God! I took look. I took the bucket off the duck. There's a bucket on this duck. Well, Christmas duck. <gasps> What are you talking about? I'm delayed. Oh my god, the- I wanna- The Christmas don't buy it. Spot! Yeah? Give me a Christmas duck for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the duck is lit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I could literally just sit here and listen to this for a couple hours. Wait, what's playing? It's... Turn it up and you'll hear it. Oh! It's Christmas music! It's been playing that since Christmas I turned it on. <laughs> Bye. Christmas duck now! Okay, turning off the Christmas duck. I'm sorry. Belated I, birthday. I gotta Blame get out of here. Belated birthday. I gotta get out of here. I can't listen to the Christmas duck any longer. Okay, what's in this room? Oh, wow. Perfect use for a toilet. Covering it in fresh cat favorite. Cat litter, maybe? Yeah, cat litter. It's already covered in cat litter. It's, cat li it's Japanese cat litter. And it's... What is this? Yeah. Cat food. Victimless. What? Evil. What's a victim? <laughs> Victimless? What? I don't get it. I don't either. Mm, so the oh look! Look! It's not. Little... It's no longer triangle-shaped tape. Really? Look. So no more Illuminati theories? No, I guess not. I found round tape. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, never mind. Illuminati theory confirmed. I found the triangle-shaped tape. <laughs> Where? Top or bottom? Hulkin delay is annoying. Oh, wait, bottom. Really far bottom. Illuminati! <laughs> yeah, uh, Marcus, we had a, a funny joke because we found this the same um, triangle-shaped tape earlier in the first part of the episode, I think it was, or was it the second part last night? And because, and because Odin. Yeah, Odin and all that stuff. We had an Illuminati theory tied, it, tied into Odin this. Odin was a triangle. He's now the Illuminati. And yeah. these people are lizard people. Whoa, what is up with this? That's baller. AI conditioning in progress. What? Oh, one year ago. AI crew data one year ago. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odney. I look forward to working together. <laughs> I don't know, pause there, sorry. But she has her data and I want to look at this. This is right as she joined. This is like right when she got here. Hmm. 
Okay, so pretty much, uh, yeah, numbers, stuff, thick things. Uh, okay. What does it say? Outside I'm in for working with you and other Okay, so, uh, this is like just welcoming. This is like messages from like the very beginning. Mm. Oh, this is with Cluey Dog. Okay. Okay. I'm not really making much sense of any of this. Like, none of it, like, makes much attachment to... Holy, what the hell? Hmm. Somebody draws too much Odin. Illuminati theory confirmed. Maybe. Also, I just spotted something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried. Okay. Wait, what? Is Whoa, what hold on, is hold on, I'm gonna read this part. Oh, oops, crap, I accidentally closed okay. it. Um, this month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directives. I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his Capris ratings in creativity and permanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term which you would know if you'd read the report I submitted as of six months ago, which I still haven't received, received a response to. In fact, you know what? I've never gotten a response to any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, fuck you guys. Also, oh, sorry. Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. The station's full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, network technology wonderkind, an all-around great person, Natalie Kershenko. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. <laughs> uh. What a nice person, am I right? Yep. Whoa, hecka. I've heard that before. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Ah, that's about uh, Sarah and them talking about that. Okay, let's continue this. Let's listen <laughs> to them. Same here, mate. So nothing's happening. Okay, so nothing happens after that. That's literally it. And then just I, nothing happens. Okay. All the data's corrupted. Yeah, so there was no audio for that, for the rest of that. Okay. Well, I think that's it for this room. Aside from the I'm nifty little information we have. Wait, Rubik's Cube? Like, everything's Google Drive. <laughs> There's Rubik's Cubes. Tri triangular Rubik's Cubes. Can you even play with the Rubik's Cubes? No, I cannot. Sadly, I can throw them. <laughs> Stop throwing their shit across the fucking room. What if they are alive and they come back for it and they find it defiled? Uh. And broken. Well then, let me uh, just pit, take a piss all over this. Hold on. Stop it. Just uh, stop it. Okay, let's get out of here and let's go to our main objective, which is the to go get the AI. Oh, recoverable crew AR data. Twelve hours ago. 
This is um, Sarah. I am here. Oh my god, I Odin. think it really is, is Odin. It? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? You're, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. I no, it's, it's open. Here. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturus regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI Whoa. hardware. Oh, but that's just... I cannot prevent Matt. you okay. from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm um, just... Whoa, go back. I'm going in. Okay, so it ends with her entering. Whoa. Odin. Notice me, Odin. Illuminati Senpai! Sorry, I'm having too much fun with these magical note note block like pad things. I see that. Ooh, AR data is in here. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Whoa! What is this? What is all this? Communication records? In your hands. I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Odin's letter. ago. Six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturus, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturus rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturus say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Workers Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what? Amazing Grace? No, I don't remember the name. That was mine. That is disturbing. She just watched that. Did they fucking do that on purpose? I think that the leak is not even a real leak. I think the explosion was pre-caused by them as a setup. And I think the radios have been disabled by Tacoma. I think the long-range communications were sabotaged by Tacoma. Did they... Did they do this on... No, you fucking assholes. <gasps> Review the data. Review the data.
Hang on, I gotta uh, read this aloud. I'm a little too shocked at the moment. I'll read it aloud then. February 29th, a uh, new top tier AI directive transmitted override all priority AI shell ex explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication channels accessible to the crew, ensure crew enters cryostasis ASAP as per SOP. Uh, AI shall not Convince any contravene. Contravene. Uh, contravene. Uh, provide crew with any information. Oh my. These are orders effective. Off station message. What does the off station message say? We. Well, this is in danger. Will this endanger the lives of the Tacoma's crews? No, a rescue craft will be dispatched to revive them once they are in cryo. Proceed with the above directed as Okay. Next. I'm not really going to read all this out, but, um... Hang on. Let me just scan it. I'm shook. Do I climb to record instead of uh... Thank you, Juno, for coming. Based on a little babu who ignored the impact of their loss, the best of the terrific would, would be to innovation. Thank you, Juno. Touch. So pretty much this AI told them which station to have this set up on, to have the, the, the air drained and to have all this happen to, based on financial impact. Oh. To Tacoma. So them losing the station wouldn't matter. Or losing the crew wouldn't matter. What's the next? What's the last one? Oh god, what is this? Tacoma rescue crew launch uh, T minus one hour. Tacoma crew launch, craft launch cancel, relaunch, uh, relaunch unscheduled, uh, departure canceled, yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep exposure, overexposure within 12 hours. Outside your concern, make this unavoidable. And it may not reopen the comms to contact orbital craft or facility and may not proceed to the crew. These are, again, orders that do not contact us about this above or about this issue again. Poor Sarah. Tacoma. If someone were to override Whoa. that protocol. Okay, once you caught up, I'm going to start the audio. Okay. Uh, I caught up. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin. Thank you. Hailing any ship. Any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Oh, so they did get comms. But we don't know what happens after this. Okay, so next we have to okay. do this. Communication lockdown, manual override, 
struck me to SLS reply enabled. Randomly generating confirmation passphrase. Final contractor confirmation pin code for entry on physical wetware interface 0451. Zero four five one, huh? You put the five and the four backwards, I believe. Oh. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Confirmation passphrase. So what do we do next? Well, Tacoma. Oh, did you not do the audio in there? I did. Yeah, I've already done all the audio for here, and back here. I just don't know, um, like, look, manually overridden, an external communications restored, SOS relay enabled. No, in the room where you entered the passcode, there was audio. No, we already did that. That was the initial audio, remember? Oh, okay. This is her listening to this. Oh, this? okay. I was... Yeah, that was her listening to that. Now, I don't know what- are we actually just supposed to be able to go to our ship, or are there any other options? Like... I really hope there's more options. Can you- huh. Whoa. Oh, this is the- This is when she was going in, so... Let me go back through here and see if there's anything, aside from what was already here. Nope, this is old data. That we already went through. Maintenance. So they lived, thank goodness. Maybe, we don't know. We don't know if we they actually lived though. We have no clue. Please detach device. Okay. Let's go back to the hub. And see if we get a a choice at the ship on what to do. I really hope it doesn't just end with us taking this back to Tacoma, or back to, uh, back to what's it called. I hope we have a choice in our ending. Like, I, I want to, I want to hear Odin. I don't think we get to. I actually think this is the end of the game. That's scary.
I just realized I have 29 followers on Twitch. Almost 30. That is good. That is good. It's very good. This is this is saddening. This is very saddening. It's like through all the loopholes we've like, or all the different like uh, things we've uncovered, this is turning into a very sad story. Hmm. Praise to the Tacoma to uh, the devs of Tacoma. This is a good game. Mm -hmm. Like if you put enough time into looking into things instead of just rushing through it. There's a lot of backstory, a lot of depth to it. There's a lot of hidden things you can do in this game. Between basketball, like pool, pool um, like darts. Darts, yeah. Play with the board. The letter board. Anyway, um, yeah, the letters. Odin. Yeah, right now we're just waiting on the loading screen, so... Yeah. I, I want old, I want to talk to Odin. Here we are, we're here. We're at the main hub. Okay. What's gonna happen once we get to our ship? First of all, whoa, recur recoverable crew data. This is new. 10 hours ago. This is even sooner than, so this happened. Oh, what's new here? Hold up. So the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Well, hold up. Before we do that, let's open this up and see what's new. Zero in cryo. Sarah's got me on a gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's gonna feel good. graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas, why he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. <laughs> um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where BT can't touch us for a good long while. We're gonna be safe. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. 
This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. You didn't access all the pads. Yeah, I know. I'm going back for that. Oh, these are the cryos. Thanks for joining us. Um, have a nice night, Marcus. Night, Marcus. There was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. But my guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters, wipe him back to baseline, probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he rose. Go back, because we didn't hear what she was talking about to Odin. Sorry, I'm being a little quieter. I got someone out in the other room. I'm trying to be a little quiet for the moment. Oh, okay. I'll leave this here for a minute, and then I'm going to look at the others. Just... finish reading what she was saying to uh, the dog dude.
you no no. Insert AI here. Ship is ready to depart. Please drop into the pilot seat. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Close to the AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay then. Oh my fucking god. And there it is. Um so let's take a quick moment. Hmm. Yeah. To sit here and process what happened. That was, that was fucking brilliant. That it was. Wow. Um. <laughs> wow. Well, 
that concludes Tacoma. So, wait. So the developers of Tacoma. Mm -hmm. I need to make a review of this game. This was <sighs> fucking beautiful. Yeah, but how would they make a second game? But it's... No, a review, not a sequel. Oh. I need to make a review. Huh. Like a review video. Um, so... Fucking brilliant. Um... Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us for the Tacoma playthrough and first reactions uh, with Keep Ruru. an eye out for a review. For, from Ruru, yeah. I mean a video review for <laughs> Tacoma. Yeah. Ruru will be doing a video review. Keep an eye out for that. Um, and as for me, we will... Say our adieus and have a good night. You later. Thank you for joining us. And have a good night.